Hello everybody! My name is Sasha and I'm gonna show you four ways to create a fire in After Effects. So let's start! The first way. I draw a shape from such sharp angles with four vertices. Next I need to animate these vertices with path animation. I set the keyframes every four frames, but feel free to experiment. Please note that in order for the fire to be dynamic, you'd better slightly stretch the shape at the top and then press it down. Now I add the foreground. To do this, I duplicate the shape and scale it. To finish, add sparks. I create a rhombus out of a rectangle. Add position animation as well as horizontal scale animation. Duplicate. Voila! The second way. I draw such an arrow and add animation. First of all, I need to add a little position animation from right to left. Now add rotation. On the right there will be a slope to the right, and on the left there will be a slope to the left. And now add scale. I set 0 to the sides of work area and 100 in the center. Convert keyframes to easy ease. So, I crop the layer to the work area size. Then I need to create two more of such duplicates. I move them evenly on the timeline and separate them at the point where the work area ends. I move these tails to the very beginning. Let's look at it. Now I can add the foreground. I duplicate all the layers, merge them with Motion Design Tool plugin and scale them. Voila! Also add sparks. I create a rectangle and rotate it. Apply Parker and Bloat modifier it would add a kind of magical effect. Then add position and scale animation. Duplicate the spark and change the position so that all of them are on different sides of the fire. Watch it. The third way. I need to draw a drop shape. Animate the scale value. In the center you can set a smaller value, but on the work area sides make it 100%. Then add CC Bandit effect. On the work area sides I set the positive value and negative in the center. Now I want to add Pasteurize Time effect to emphasize shaking. Set it to 12. Duplicate our shape twice. Randomize Bend and Scale so that the drops move in different directions. Voila! Duplicate our shapes and scale. Here I'll add the sparks using a circle shape. Draw a small one and make it a winding path. Set opacity 100 at the beginning and 0 at the end. Duplicate and change start point and time for other sparks. Check it out. The fourth way. This is frame by frame animation. To do this, you first need to draw a basis. I did it in Procreate, but you can use any other program. After, import this file and diligently outline the fire frame by frame. I think this kind of animation needs a separate video, since there are a lot of features. But I wanted to tell you about this method because this one is my favorite.
To sum up, so I showed you four ways to create a shapefile in After Effects. In fact, you can do it other million ways. It depends on your imagination. I hope it was interesting. Press like and see ya!